that's it. I finally had enough of lockdown. I am sick to death of being surrounded by people that have either been in or come out of my vagina. What's up, diamonds and beams? Mama? Check out my little man and how Mama? he's done right now. Look at you. Yes. Mama? Are you so handsome or what? Okay. So, first of all, my son's fit, believe it or not, is from Amazon. Because I wanted to get him some stuff from Mama? for his birthday. And his birthday Mama? went phenomenal. Mama? And... This is one of his birthday outfits. Look at him, styling and wilding. Yes. Say hi. Aw, oh, giving them kisses. Mean mugging right now? Are you mean mugging? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> You feel fresh to death and now you give an attitude? Mm-hmm. That's my baby. That's my baby. Thing that I wanted to talk about. And it's called triggering. There are things that could trigger most of us. There are certain words that could trigger a person. Comment down below. If you have a word that sets you off, makes you upset. I have a couple of them. Some of them are gross words. The main one, the main one to me is goodbye. Mama? Why does that set me off? Mama? Or make me upset? Because in my opinion, if somebody's saying goodbye, that means goodbye to talking, and whatever like you're done you're finished why do i bring this up because Mama? i had a conversation with my girlfriends and we were talking about things that could set us off and why like i know people don't intentionally try to set us off if you're in a bad mood right Hypothetically speaking, if you're in a bad mood and you take it out on the wrong person, right? Because this has happened to me and when I'm in a bad mood, I just want to be left alone. Okay? I just want to be left alone. I don't want nobody to talk to me. I don't want to say out of anything out of anger or context, whatever. But if you keep going about it in the wrong way, there is no stopping. <laughs> and then eventually that one person, sorry, that one person that you're not intentionally trying to set off goes off on you. Because, like, it could trigger them to get upset right or like i get it there's misunderstandings and everything and that's life things happen so when things happen like that you just gotta say listen leave me alone i'm not in the mood to talk right now or like with me if i'm not in the mood to talk to somebody i ain't gonna talk to you. I ain't going to text you. I ain't going to call you. I ain't going to do nothing until I cool my ass down. Right? So, if you're about that life, like, purposely trying to set people off, or because you think that you're above them, why are you doing that, first of all? Because you're miserable and you want to make them miserable? Cut that shit out. Cut that shit out. Real talk. Because that ain't cool. Mama? Mama? 
Because Mama? if you go off on the wrong person and they're having mm -hmm. an absolute horrible shit day, right? Why are you trying to add to it? Why? Be the bigger person, give them time to cool off, and then they'll be ready to talk to you. That's just my opinion. Or the moment that they return the favor to you, they're coming off as a bitch. Why? Because you set them off. And you get angry at them for coming back at you with the same energy. Now, you know that saying, don't start nothing, won't be nothing? You start something, there's going to be some. Okay? Now, whether people are dealing with stress, anxiety, or they're just tired or having a bad day in general, and they say, look, now's not the time. Now is not the time. Point blank, period. Okay? Now, I'm going to go. Comment down below your thoughts on this topic. And I will see you all in the next vlog. Love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye. Say bye, Major. Blue kisses. Good job. If I hear, girl, what's wrong? My man ain't shit. Then why you won't leave him? Cause bitch, dick too bomb. Girl, get some present dick. They'll blow your back out. Just saying.